Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So I am so excited for today's video. I ordered the Jaclyn Hill palette from Ulta online and had it shipped to me. There was an issue with the shipping and one of my first package went missing. I contacted Ulta on Twitter and they immediately shipped me on a new one free of charge. For some reason, I ended up receiving both the missing one and the replacement that they shipped me. So I ended up with two Jaclyn Hill palettes. So anyways, I was super excited because as soon as I saw that I ended up with a second palette, I knew exactly what I wanted to do with it. I was so hoping that they wouldn't make me return it so that I could give it away to one of you guys. So I contacted them on Twitter just to be sure and I let them know what had happened and they agreed to let me do whatever I wanted with it. So I thought that was really awesome because, I mean, it is a $38 palette. I was really surprised. I figured they would definitely want me to ship it back, but... So instead I get to give it away to one of you guys. I am just starting off here and I so appreciate all of you who have come to watch my videos and leave all your supportive comments. I appreciate it so much. It was really scary starting a YouTube channel. It's hard putting yourself out there, you know, but you guys have been so supportive and I just wanted to do something nice for you. So yeah, obviously since I'm just starting off, this is my first giveaway that I've ever done, so I hope it goes okay. I've seen giveaways done before, I've entered a few, but I never really won anything, so it is what it is. I don't really care. So I'm just kind of using inspiration from other girls that I've seen do giveaways, and I hope that that's okay. I decided that in order for you to enter the giveaway, I would like you guys to subscribe to my channel, leave a comment down below, and go follow me on my Twitter. I'll let you guys know the winner by the end of this month. Um, I want to give people a little bit of time to enter the giveaway just in case that you don't see it for a little bit or you happen to miss this video. So yeah, if you guys want to see me reviewing the palette for the first time and how I got this eye look, go ahead and keep watching. I'm going to zoom you guys in at first, do my eyes, and then go in and do the full face. Okay, so let's just get into this. Okay, so I've got you guys up really close just so you can see what I'm doing with my eyes. So yeah, I'm just going to kind of wing it from here. Hopefully the look turns out okay. I promise I will do another video with a tutorial on a certain look once I figure out what I want to do with it. But since I haven't had time to play with it yet, I'm just going to see what I come up with. Okay, so the first shade I'm going to go in with is Silk Cream, which is this shade right here. And I'm going to use that as my transition shade. Then I'm going to go in with Hustle all over the lid. That's this shade right here. Then I'm going to take Obsessed and put that in the middle of my lid, which is this shade right here. Then I'm going to go in with Mocha in the crease. Then I'm going to go in with Silk Cream, which I use for my transition, and go ahead and blend all that out. Then I'm going to go in with Central Park and go ahead and pack that on the outer V and just blend it in. Then I'm going to take Beam and use that as my inner corner highlight and my brow bone highlight. That's this shade right here. I really thought Obsessed was going to lighten it up a little bit more. I didn't mean to go so dark. So I think I'm actually going to go in. I think I'm actually going to go in with In Light and try to put a little bit of that on the lid to kind of brighten up the eye look a little bit. If you guys watched my previous videos, you know I usually don't go this dark, but I kind of wanted to be a little dramatic with it today. Then I'm going to take another blending brush and just blend everything together. So I'm not completely done with the eyes yet. I'm going to zoom you guys back out and do the rest of my face makeup. And then I want to add pool party to my lower lash line. So today I'm just going to go in with my Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation and a Beauty Blender. Then I'm going to go in with my Tarte Shape Cape Concealer. I'm going to set that with the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Setting Powder. Alright, for the contouring, I'm using the Wet n Wild Contouring Palette, the Mega Glow Palette, and Dulce de Leche. 
I mean, you guys have seen it in a couple of my previous videos. So I'm going to try to dust that off without ruining my eyeshadow. Next I'm going to go in with my Tarte Blush and Party. I'm going to use my favorite Essence Pure Nude Highlighter and Be My Highlight. I'm going to do my eyebrows in the MAC Eyebrows in Lingering. That's the shade I'm in right now. Okay, so since I went with like a pretty dark eyeshadow look right now, I'm going to go with NYX Lingerie in the shade Push Up just because it's like my favorite nude, like your lips but better color. Okay, so then I'm going to go in with the shade Pool Party and put that on my lower lash line. I love all these colors. I mean, look how pretty that is, guys. It's crazy. I love that she added, like, the perfect pop of color shades, in my opinion. I love these kind of colors. I'm kind of flicking it out because I'm going to end up doing a winged eyeliner after. I'm going to do my eyeliner and mascara off camera real quick, and then I'll be right back. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. I hope you guys really like it as much as I do. I really loved how this turned out. Um, I think the shadows are amazing in this palette. I mean, they're so pigmented. They were so easy to blend. There's just so many different colors to choose from. There's so many different looks that you can do. I love a palette like this. It was completely worth the money. I mean, the palette only cost, I think, $38. I obviously had to pay extra for shipping, but... I'm going to be using this palette for a while, so I hope you guys don't mind because I'm definitely going to be making a couple of videos with different looks that you can do with this palette now that I finally got it and I can play around with it a little bit. Yeah, I was dying to use that pool party shade. I couldn't get that shade out of my head. I don't own anything like it, and it's, it's hard to find a pop of color that I love as much as I love this one. I definitely don't regret buying this palette. I think it's amazing. I mean, even if I wasn't like a fan of hers, I would still purchase this palette just because the shadows are awesome. I mean, I really hope you guys are excited about this giveaway. I was so happy to get an extra palette that I'm able to give you guys. I so appreciate all of you who come to watch my videos and are so supportive and sweet in the comments. It was really scary for starting off my channel, and I'm so happy that I did it though because this is so much fun for me, and I really enjoy checking out the comments and seeing all the sweet things you guys have been saying, and... I just, I love the support, so thank you so much. I can't wait to announce the winner of the palette, you guys. I hope I can make one of you really happy, and yeah, so I guess that's it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye, guys.